How Steel Pens Are Made. Brought to you by A.B. Rustic Relics and made possible through this tiny pamphlet I found in my Astrobrook nib box. Part 1. Cold Rolled Steel Most people have an idea that pen making is merely a matter of automatic machinery and rarely do others than visitors to our plant realize the amount of work, care, and attention necessary to make pens of Astrobrook quality. Part 2. Scrap Steel The steel used in the Astrobrook pens is made according to our own specifications, and every particle is laboratory tested to determine the precise heat treatment which it must receive in the many stages before becoming a pen. Part 3. Flat Cut Blank The steel is delivered to us in rolls of flat strips ready for cutting room where the strips are fed in the stamping press which cuts out a pen. The cutting of a pierce hole in the side slits is the next in order and important operations. Part 4. Pierced and side slit. Their size, position, and depth largely determine the elasticity of the pen. The word Astrobrook stamped on the pen blank next. The blanks being fed into a drop hammer press one at a time. Number 5. Name stamped. The next work is shaping the pen in the raising or forming room. Here again, pens are fed singly by hand into the forming machine. Now we harden the steel by heating it into a bright red and quenching in oil. This leaves part six, raised. The steel exceedingly brittle and necessities the tempering operation which provides the degree of temper which each particular pen must have to give the proper service for which it is designed. The pens then go to the part seven, temper cleaning cylinders, and after two days are ready for grinding, where each pen is ground by hand on a rapidly revolving emery wheel. After this, they go into the slitting room, where the nibs are slit from point to pierce hole in operation. Number eight, ground and slit, which requires the utmost care and precision. The pens are now sent to the final polishing cylinders, after which they are finished in their respective colors and lacquer, which prevents rusting. The pens are then sent to number nine, finished and examined, the examining room, where each separate pen is inspected. The rigidness of the inspection is the final step in securing the Astorbrook finish and quality, which make it necessary to manufacture 200 million pens annually to meet the demand. Well, that is how the Astorbrook steel pen nib is made. We hope you enjoyed this segment, taking a trip back in time with Astorbrook pens and a miniature pamphlet. Until next time, like, comment, and subscribe. Ciao, man.